Welcome back to the shop. I've got an oddball project here. I don't know if you can see that. Catherine has a refrigerator in her office and they need to keep it up off the ground. I think some of these refrigerators, the coils are actually on the bottom and with the looks like she's got sort of a high pile carpet in there. And she's using this piece of plastic, little riser thing, to keep it up off the ground. The issue is, is that it's not the right length. So I wanted to use this opportunity to try my hand at some plastic work. I just happened to buy a new tool that a friend of mine had a cooler break, and they have these plastic staplers. You, you took, well, anyway, I'll show you later on when I get into it. There's a bunch of different ways to use zip ties and all sorts of neat adhesives and whatnot. But I'm going to try to rip this down into, she needs it to be 20 inches long, and I'm going to try to save the ends of this so that there's not just a, a void in the middle of it. I'm going to rip these down to two 10 inch pieces and then we're going to try to make them match up in the middle. So the, the tough part that everybody makes look easy is getting two parallel cuts. I'm going to cut it and bring it back. Let's try the bandsaw. I'm pretty happy with how that went. It's not perfect. I knew it wouldn't be perfect. For those of you who've been with the channel for a long time, you'll know that when I bought that bandsaw, the guy helping me load it up tried to pick the table up by the the, the, the platen on that and broke it off and I had to sort of fabric cobble a, a mount to the base of that. And it's not perfect. And I can tell you it's, a, it's exactly on a piece of thing that's three inches tall. You can see it's out of sort of cattywampus a little bit because the bottom gap is pretty square but the top has left me with about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch of a reveal there. I think I can hand file off the bottom, spend a little time file fitting that, maybe make that up a little bit better. Not much to the instructions. It says keep the workplace clean and tidy. The messy workplace is prone to danger. This place is fine. I don't know. There's a little wobbly thing that goes in there. Uh, here we are. A little piece of wire bent up in the end. Pull the trigger up. I'm assuming that that's going to start getting hot. To add a little rigidity, I'm going to put a block in the center, a piece of the old one. And I'm going to go ahead and rivet, or whatever you call it, melt it, just staple it right down to the top, and that should give it some some rigidity. Now, when you're fixing things for other people, and your reputation is on the line. I think it's fully appropriate to add some extra insurance to things like this because you don't want to break it and then they're like, oh, Joe does sucky work. And they wouldn't be wrong, but you know, when you're doing something for somebody you don't want to you don't want to fail on day one. Especially when it's your girlfriend and her coworker, because then they're just gonna sit around and harp on you all day long, and they'll just get a million miles out of that. They'll just be like, oh, you wanna fix something else, Joe? Ah, so, I would put a, they didn't give me much to work with. Let me, let me start by qualifying this. It, it is not, not a, a great piece of plastic. It is not worth, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just the junky cabinet thing. But I think it's probably more than enough to hold the refrigerator for them. I'm going to come back and put some two-part JB epoxy on this and just help immortalize it. Well, let me, let me go and do that while you're here. This JB plastic weld is excellent stuff. It really is some of my favorite stuff to work with. So that could dry and be fine on Monday 4, but this thing, I'll put a, a screenshot of what I got on Amazon. It is a dream to use. It is a lot of fun. It seems to do a remarkable job. It's just, it's not high science or anything, but it just gets a staple hot and pushes it right down in there. I think it'd be great for all sorts of little plastic applications. You could do a lot with a soldering gun and some zip ties, but, but this is 
this is much nicer because you're not getting just the straight up fumes and all the smoke and all the other stuff that goes along when you're trying to patch things together like that. But but these things are just just a treat to use, and I wanted to share it with you all. So I hope you're having a good weekend. Thanks for watching.